Hi everyone, this is Selena Krause and welcome to another Hero Arts video. In this video, we're going to make a card using a few of the new Hero Arts 2020 catalog products. We're using the single tulip st uh, stamp along with the Hero Arts florals um, tulips and the window of the garden fancy die. So let's get started. I'm die cutting that fancy window, window of the garden die uh, from dove white cardstock that I've cut down to four by five and a quarter. And by magic of YouTube, I already um, die cut that one. I'm just removing the little pieces that uh, from the more intricate parts that go, uh, that were die cut and that stayed onto the panel. Next, what we'll do, we'll pull out the happy birthday stamp from the Hero of Worlds uh, stamp tulips and stamp that on the panel on the bottom left corner. And to make sure that I stamp that straight, I'm using my Misty tool. I'm positioning that onto my panel and picking up with the lid of the Misty, making sure it's nice and straight. And I'm using the Hero Arts Intensified Black ink. So now we are done with that panel and we'll set it aside. Next, I'm using another piece of Dove White cardstock and I'm stamping that single tulip three times using the Hero Arts Intensified Black ink again. This ink is waterproof as well as it's alcohol marker friendly. So you can use any color uh, coloring medium of your choice to color those tulips. So the first tulip that I stamped, it, it was not uh, perfect to my standards, so I decided to stamp another tree. Next, we're pulling out the butterfly stamp from the clear stamp set, the Hero Arts floor, uh, Tulips, and uh, we'll move to coloring. I'm using alcohol-based markers to color the tulips as well as the butterfly, but as I said before, you can use any coloring medium of your choice. You can use watercolors, you can use pencils, you can use alcohol markers, it doesn't matter which brand you use. Uh, this ink is waterproof and it's alcohol marker friendly, so you can use uh, any coloring medium. You can even color using your reactive inks. So I'm just doing uh, quick coloring. I colored the um, flower stems, now I'm moving to the stems. Again, I'm coloring all three at the same time. I'm just blending three uh, shades of color of for each part. Three for the flower and three for, for the stem, and then we'll have another tree for the butterfly. So moving to the butterfly, I'm using shades of orange, and then for the body, I'll just use one color, uh, one shade of brown. So now we're done with the coloring and we can move on to cutting those out. So I'm using the coordinating die from the Hero, um, Hero Florals Tulips stamp set for the butterfly and I will hand, hand cut the tulips. So those are very easy to cut since they have uh, very straight lines. So the cutting is not rock and size, it's pretty easy. So I have already pre-cut those three and now we can move on to uh, creating our background using the uh, using some ink blending and the reactive inks. I'm using three sh uh, three colors of the reactive inks. I'm using lemon drop, key lime fizz, and pool party. So I'm starting from the bottom. I'm using the key lime fizz for the bottom. Then in the middle middle I will use the lemon drop, and on top for the sky I'll have the pool party. I'm making sure that transition between the colors it's uh, more subtle. So I'm uh, putting more effort blending those uh, transition lines. Again, this goes be uh, behind that uh, window, window of the garden, fancy die. So not entire panel needs to be ink blended. So even if you don't do it on the edges, uh, it doesn't really, it won't be really visible when we adhere it on the back of that window. So I'm just making sure everything is blended nicely. Just adding some more from the pool party on the sides because we were, we were able to see some of the white in the background. Next I will add some foam mounting tape onto the back of the window panel. 
I wanted to add some little bit more dimension and that window to be a little bit popped up. So I'm cutting the mounting tape in half so we have thinner strips to go on the side. Again, you can use any adhesive for your choice. Even if you want to be uh, to have more flat card, you can completely skip the foam mounting tape and you can use any adhesive of your choice, either a liquid or um, tape runner or anything that you have handy. So I'm just adding little pieces there to make sure that everything is nice and popped up. Next we'll remove the backing of all the foam tape. And we're going to adhere the ink blended background on top, making sure that we have the blue, the pool party on top for the sky, and the green, the key lime fizz on the bottom for the grass. Next I'm using some of the Hero Arts Precision Glue to adhere the butterfly. And next we need to adhere the tulips. First I'm arranging them to see where I want them to be before I move on to adhering those to the card. So I'm starting the, the one on the very edge on the right side because I want that one to be on the far back. And then I'll add the other two. I'm using little pieces of uh, foam tape to adhere those uh, between the lines of the window. Make sure that uh, the tulip doesn't collapse down uh, when uh, they go through the mail. And then for the stem I'm using the liquid adhesive. Next I'll just trim off the excess of the stems and adhere my panel onto the Hero Arts, the Hero Fuse Premium Cardstock panel or card base that I created from the Kiwi cardstock. I cut it down to four and a quarter by 11 and square it at five and a half then fold it. So here's a little close up of the card. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.